Good morning, grade 3. I'm your English teacher, Ms. Cynthia Rabai. Today is Tuesday, May 5th, 2020. Today's grammar lesson is present, past, and future tenses. Before we start with our new lesson, I need you please to open your notebook on pages 284 and 290 to correct your homework. And here is the correction of page 309. The objective is to identify present, past, and future tenses. Let's review together. What is a verb? A verb is a word used to show an action. For example, run, read, and play. Verbs can show when an action happens. This is called tense. Different verb tenses have different forms, and today we are going to study about past, present, and future tenses. Present tense shows an action that is happening right now. It is also used to show a habit or a fact. For example, he plays soccer. I brush my teeth every day. The sun sets in the west. For most verbs, we add S to the base form to form the present tense with the third person pronouns, he, she, and it, or with singular subjects. For example, Tim walks for one hour. My friend runs fast. When the verb ends with CH, double S, SH, X, or double Z, we add ES. For example, he wishes me to be near him. Wish ends with SH, so we added ES. My dad fixes his car. Fix ends with X, so we added ES. A bee buzzes around. Buzz ends with double Z, so we added ES. She teaches English. Teach ends with CH, so we added ES. Time passes fast. Path ends with double S, so we added ES. When a verb ends with a consonant and Y, we change Y to I, then we add ES. For example, the baby cries a lot at night. Cry ends with consonant and Y. So we changed Y to I, then we added ES. Alice tries hard at school. Try ends with consonant and Y. So we changed Y to I, then we added ES. She copies all the questions in her notebook. Copy ends with consonant and Y, so we changed Y to I, then we added ES. Past tense is used to show that an action took place in the past. For example, the whale jumped out of the water. We form the past tense of many verbs by adding ED. For example, she stayed close to her baby. When a verb ends with E, we drop the final E before adding ED. For example, he lived there for three years. Live ends with E, so we drop the final E, then we added ED. She smiled up at Alex. Smile ends with E, so we drop the final E, and then we added ed. When a one-syllable verb ends with consonant vowel consonant cvc, we double the final consonant, then we add ed. For example, we shopped for our first car together. 
Shop ends with consonant, vowel, consonant. So we doubled the final consonant P, then we added ED. The girl clapped her hands. Clap ends with consonant, vowel, consonant. So we doubled the final consonant P, then we added ED. When a verb ends with consonant and Y, we change Y to I, then we add ED. For example, we studied hard. Study ends with consonant and Y. So we changed Y to I, then we added ED. We tried to cheer him up. Try ends with consonant and Y. So we changed Y to I, then we added ED. Future tense is used to express an action that does not yet exist but is expected to happen in the future. We add the helping verb will to a verb to make it a future tense verb. For example, I will go to the party next week. Jason will visit his friend tomorrow. Mom will bake a cake. Choose the correct verb to complete each sentence. Jimmy goes or will go to the birthday party tomorrow. Sam plays or played soccer every day. They talk or they talked on the phone for three hours last night. The teacher reads or will read this page right now. Mrs. Ray copies or copied the information yesterday. Write the past form of the following verbs. Try, move, push, and walk. Do pages 215 and 240 in the notebook.